Hello anatomy students! In this video, I'm going to explain the major veins of the upper limbs and the direction of blood flow through them. There are an abundance of both superficial and deep veins that drain blood from the upper limbs to the heart. The superficial veins located just under the skin are larger than the deep veins. They form extensive anastomoses and are often visible through the skin. These are the veins that drain most of the blood from the upper limbs. The deep veins are found closer to bone and muscle and are often located near arteries having the same name. And let's begin our tour with the deep veins. The palmar metacarpals drain blood from the palms of the hand into the deep palmar venous arches, which empty into the radial veins. The radials unite with the ulnar veins to form the brachial veins just inferior to the elbow joint. The radials drain the muscles and bones of the lateral hands and forearms and are found running next to the radial arteries. The palmar digital veins drain blood from the fingers into the superficial palmar venous arches, which empty into the ulnar veins. The ulnars run along the medial aspect of the forearms and join the radial veins to form the brachial veins. The ulnars drain the muscles, bones, and skin of the hand, and muscles of the medial aspect of the forearm. The brachial veins receive blood from both the radials and ulnars. They begin in the anterior elbow, where the radials and ulnars join together, and ascend through the arm where the basilic veins join them to form the axillary veins. The brachials drain the muscles and bones of the elbow and upper arm region. The axillary veins begin where the brachial and basilic veins merge near the base of the armpit, and then become the subclavian veins near the borders of the first ribs. The axillaries drain the skin, muscles, bones of the arm, armpit, shoulder, and superolateral chest wall. The subclavian veins are continuations of the axillaries and unite with the internal jugular veins to form the brachiocephalic veins. The subclavians drain the skin, muscles, and bones of the arms, shoulders, neck, and superior thoracic wall. The brachiocephalic veins are the last of the deep veins, forming through the union of the subclavian and internal jugular veins. The brachiocephalics drain into the superior vena cava, which delivers blood into the right atrium of the heart. The brachiocephalics drain blood from the head, neck, upper limbs, mammary glands, and superior thorax. The superficial veins of the upper limb begin with the dorsal digital veins, which drain blood from the fingers into the dorsal metacarpal veins, which carry blood into the dorsal venous arches, also called the dorsal venous networks of the hands. The cephalic veins are long superficial veins that begin on the lateral aspect of the dorsal venous arches and curve around the radial side of the forearms to the anterior surface and then ascend through the entire arm along the anterolateral surface. They end where they join the axillary veins just below the clavicles. The cephalics drain the skin and superficial muscles of the lateral aspect of the upper limb. The basilic veins begin on the medial aspect of the dorsal venous arches of the hands and ascend along the posteromedial surface of the forearm and anteromedial surface of the arm. The basilics receive blood from the median cubital veins 
the veins most commonly used for venipuncture, at the anterior elbow. The term cubital refers to the elbow region and continue ascending until they reach the middle of the arm. They then run deeply until they join with the brachial veins to form the axillary veins. The basilics drain the skin and superficial muscles of the medial aspect of the upper limb. 